Today, I'll show you how to easily calculate your cryptocurrency taxes with Coinlink. Before we jump in, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not tax, financial, or legal advice. Also, the examples I mentioned might not exactly match your situation. So as always, speak to a qualified professional if you're looking for tax advice. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome to the video. First of all, what is Coinlink? It is a crypto tax calculator that can help you do your crypto taxes fast. Now, in order for Coinlet to calculate your tax liability, you simply need to import all your transactions into Coinlink. This is a very simple and hassle-free process. First step would be to log into your Coinlet account. If you don't have one, you can create one completely free. You can usually import all your data using the free account, review your transactions, and purchase a paid plan only when you're ready to download your reports. Once you are logged in, you go to the wallets area. Here you will add various wallets, exchanges, and blockchains that you are working with. Now, let's go over some examples of major platforms, exchanges, and wallets you can add to Coinlink. We have hundreds of integrations and we're constantly adding new ones. If you wanted to add a platform like Kraken, for example, you would click on add wallet slash exchange and then you would search for Kraken. Other platforms can be found through a search engine. Platforms usually have two different methods of importing data. One is the setup autosync method, which requires you to create API keys on that platform. The second is the import from file method, which requires you to download CSV files of your transaction history. If you click on setup auto sync, for example, you will see a set of instructions which are straightforward and easy to follow. You would follow these instructions to get your API information. Usually this means providing an API key and an API secret. If you need further guidance, you can check out our YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos showing you step-by-step -step instructions. Please keep in mind that some platform API keys have limitations. This simply means that not all data might be included in these API keys, which may or may not be of interest to you. For example, if API data doesn't include futures trading information, but you've never done futures trading on that platform, then you can safely ignore this limitation. However, if more critical data is missing, like staking information, then you would need to add this information manually or consider importing your data using CSV files. Import from file, as its name suggests, means you'll have to fetch CSV files from the desired platform. Just like before, you'll be greeted with simple and clear instructions on where you need to go to get these files. Keep in mind that these files need to include your entire transaction history, including previous years. These two methods will get you through the vast majority of platforms. Some blockchains and wallets are even easier to import. If you have a MetaMask wallet, for example, and you are storing Ethereum on it, you would simply find MetaMask in the search bar and then click on the setup auto sync option. Then you would find the network you used, example Ethereum, and you would paste your public key there. Coinly will automatically detect all other EVM compatible networks this wallet was used on and ask if you want to add them as well. Lastly, some platforms have a SSO, a single sign-on option, which will be presented to you when you click setup auto sync. For that sort of integration, you will simply be asked to sign into the platform. Once you have done this, a new integration will appear on your wallets page and the data will begin to pour in. Once all the wallets are added, Coinly needs to process the data imported. This may take some time depending on the number of transactions imported and the complexity of those transactions. This is what Coinly is doing. Merging avalanche trades, meaning multiple trades happening at the same time into one. Fetching market value deposits, staking rewards, etc. Identifying special activities like staking, liquidity providing, etc. Identifying issues with the data like disposals of an asset with no history of acquisition. Tracking the cost acquisition or cost basis of your assets. And lastly, calculating gains on each disposal. You will see an indicator saying updating in the top right corner and you will receive a pop-up once the calculations are finished. After the calculations are done, it's good to review all transactions imported to see if the data is accurate. And usual checks include confirming all wallets were added. Note, make sure that your entire transaction history from various platforms is included. Coinly needs this information to calculate your capital gains and losses. Next, checking end balances calculated by Coinly against what is actually on the exchange. And lastly, addressing missing purchase history warnings. We have countless videos on resolving potential warnings you might encounter, and our article, How to Ensure Your Tax Report is Accurate, will walk you through the most common issues from start to finish. I will link it in the description. Once you review your transactions, go to the reports page to see a brief summary of your capital gains and income for any tax year. 
You may see a review needed section here if you didn't resolve all the data issues Coinly identified. As mentioned before, these issues can appear if you didn't add all your wallets or include your entire transaction history. If you don't have any outstanding issues or consider them negligible, it's time to generate your reports. Check that you have the correct tax year selected. Scroll down the page and pick the report you want to download. And then just click download report. And we have plenty of tax reports for you to choose from. For the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, both online and desktop versions. We also have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, and Australia. Users from other countries usually use the complete tax report when filing their taxes. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more crypto content. And if you need further assistance, I've left a bunch of different resources down below, like our forum section, help center, and contact information.